This is a video app review of Prime TV, brought to you by the developer Renfred. Version 1.12 was used for this review. From the developer, Prime TV is a TV show tracking app designed exclusively for your Windows phone. No more frustration over which TV show will air on what channel and what time. Just hit up Prime and you can browse through all your favorite shows in this beautifully designed Metro Concept inspired app. And I pretty much have to agree with it. It is a beautifully designed Metro Concept inspired app. It does a lot more than just that though. Prime TV also gives you a very organized way to add all the shows you watch, which then unlocks a lot of useful information about those shows. Once you've added your shows, which I've done here, as you can see, I do like to watch my TV, so I have plenty of shows added. You get this nice summary page of all your shows. I have the option to, and I used it to break it down by letter. And just like any other uh, design, you can jump down. If I want to see Fringe, F, boom, there's Fringe. And go into the, uh, into the actual TV show, giving you information. As, it's, as you see there, it says I have 65 unwatched episodes. So if I go to episodes here, uh, I honestly haven't watched Fringe and it seems like I'm missing out. So it's going to be one of my summer goals is to catch up. But let's say that I did watch all of Fringe all the way up to this last episode on May 6th. If I click and hold, I can mark all previous as watched. And then when I go back, no unwatched episodes. And then obviously when a new show comes out, it will update me that I have one unwatched if I missed it. All right, there's cast, show summary, and there's news specific to Fringe, if there is Fringe news, which in this case there seems to be plenty. It's pretty well talked about. If I go into the article, there's the article in basic text with the nice Fringe background where I can read at the source, bringing up a nice integrated web viewer for the article. Very smooth, as you can see, very quick. All right. I can keep swiping over within the show and I get a gallery. can click on uh, one of the pictures and go full screen. As of this version, I can't save the picture, nor can I make it the uh, lock screen wallpaper, but that's coming very soon. Expect that. I can swipe over to get more pictures and then back to the show summary. Uh, within the show, there's the episode summary. There's a picture from the show. And then, if available, there is a beta YouTube trailer. And this works sometimes, not all the time. Uh, this one will work if I click on it. It'll bring you into just the end clip of the previous week for the preview. It brings you into the YouTube, uh, into the YouTube app there. All right, and then more image goodies. Sometimes these are not just widescreen. Sometimes they fill the screen. But uh, really handy. Just great information about each show. Obviously, that has to be available for it to use. Uh, Fringe is a good example of everything being available. All right, swiping over, you're going to get all your upcoming shows. As you can see, um, on May 8th, I've got Family Guy and Game of Thrones coming up. And then tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, all of my shows. Wednesday's a big night for me, as you can see. Um, now, if I swipe all the way bottom, interestingly enough, what's really handy is, as you can see, Breaking Bad returns on July 17th. And it's going to let me know when it happens. Season 4. Season 6 returns of Dexter September 25th. And Season 2 returns for The Walking Dead on October 31st. Great info. I didn't know that until I added the show and found that out. Um, and then obviously any upcoming shows that uh, get programmed in the system will update. Very, very handy. As you can see, app performance is nice. There's my list of aired shows. I missed Fringe. I've missed all of Fringe, but... Um, I missed uh, Drew Carey's Improv Improvaganza. I don't know if you've ever seen the show. Man, it's hilarious. I love improv. All right. And then there's uh, basic TV news here because you're not within a particular show, so you're going to get general news. And then back to the shows. Within settings, very, very adjustable, very configurable to how you want it. Within time adjustment, you can adjust your time zone. If any of the shows are off, you can manually add or, or take away an hour to make it show up on the exact time it shows up in your city. There's an about page, and uh, this is where he gives you a little info about him, what's coming up in version 12, says better performance, minor bug fixes. He's going to be integrating Twitter and Facebook integration, a notification system, uh, and more trailer videos from different sources. 
I have a little bit of extra what's new straight from the developer. I'll let you know at the end. And then he credits several people for helping him. And as you can see, can he be one, two, threes there? I have been giving him uh, bug fixes and, uh, and tips on how to make the program better because I do care about it and I use it all the time. And you're welcome to do that as well. He is very personable and will answer your emails and integrate the features that you want, if possible. Within animation, uh, I have it set to none. I've put it on premium and full. I honestly can't see a huge difference in, in what that changes, but I haven't really seen any performance hits either. With wallpaper, you have the option of uh, setting the wallpaper to the, to the latest upcoming episode, which as you see here, Family Guy is in the background because that's the newest show. If I go back, there it is. Now, I have the option to turn that off and then change it to whatever show I want it to be, which is nice. I just like it to be on, on the next upcoming show. And then you also have an organizer to uh, how you want the page to be displayed for your collection. Uh, as you can see, I liked it A to Z alphabetically. You can change it to manual, uh, next episode air date, and unwatched count. And then you can also organize your episodes by week or by day of week. I like it breaking it down. All right, very, very configurable, really handy, just how you want it. And then you can turn on or off the live tile notification, which I don't know why you would turn this off because it really brings this app into <laughs> super handiness. I don't know how else to say it. When you turn it on, your live tile is now, according to this live tile, Fringe is next. So there's a Fringe background. Vampire Diaries and Mentalist are all coming up next week. There's a plus three letting you know that there's three more additional shows next week. Now, if I go to mine, you'll see Family Guy and Game of Thrones, and it says it's today. If there were any more shows for today, it would have a plus. I think you can show up to three. Okay. Now, one thing about that live tile is that uh, it does not update automatically. So if you uh, come back the next day, it's still going to show that same icon for the Family Guy until you run the program, and then it auto-updates to the next shows coming up. That's something he's fixing in the next version, 1.13. He's going to have it update every six hours. And as Mango comes out, uh, there's going to be even better features for developers on updating live tiles. So look for that. Um, let's see, what else? I've pretty much shown you the whole program. Let's go into the positives, negatives, and the bottom line. It, as you can see, it's a perfect way to avoid your missing your favorite shows and to learn all about them. You can learn about individual episodes. You can learn about shows maybe you're not familiar with. Um, the slick metro interface, it's just beautiful, I think you can agree. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, if I were to shake the phone, there's a shake to change your live tile. So now the other show, Game of Thrones, becomes an option. If I click check, it says you should get it soon. The second I leave the app, that's my new live tile. If I shake it again, boom, shake it again, there's Family Guy. So whatever your next upcoming shows are, you can actually make it to your live tile if it's not automatically. Just a nice, handy little feature. All right, back to the positives. The Metro interface, it's graphically beautiful, has great performance. Extremely configurable to your liking, along with a very organized feel, as you can see. It's handy. The, the handy show-related news uh, with an integrated web browser is real nice. It's quick and uh, you can learn a lot about upcoming TV shows and including to specific to your TV show that you want to know about. The Lifetel integration is great. It can be better, but it's great. The app is updated often. It's, the developer Renfred has squashed a lot of bugs in the last uh, eight or so revisions and uh, he's added a lot of features. And the 99% price is just, uh, just super cheap. I mean, why wouldn't you buy this for a buck? The trial is also nice. You can get it for uh, free and run it uh, and add up to eight shows. As you can see, that wouldn't work for me. The negatives, uh, just the live tile not automatically updating, so you have to run the app. That's going to be fixed soon, like I mentioned. You can't save the pictures to the phone within, as you saw, uh, there's no options there. That's also coming soon. You'll be able to also save it as your lock screen wallpaper if you'd like. And that per performance is not quite perfect, but as you can see, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the YouTube show trailers, I didn't, I didn't actually show you linking into the video, but it works if it's available 
and sometimes either it'll say incorrect format or it'll bring you to a video that isn't what it is. So uh, he's integrating uh, another database of video trailers soon, uh, which should improve the reliability with that. I'm going to give the score on this app a 9 out of 10, another close call to 10 out of 10. Uh, on his next couple updates, it's it's obviously going to be a 10 out of 10 because it's going to do everything you can imagine and more because something I never even knew about is called Track TV, Tracked dot TV, and uh, check out the link in the in the review towards the bottom if you want to check out what that is. That's going to integrate with Prime TV and make it even more powerful. So this is Prime TV, brought to you by by the developer Renfred. Check it out.